On Saturday, January 19th, Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey took on Holliston. The game was a defensive struggle for both sides with some great goaltender play. The Hillers got over 50 shots on net, but Holliston goalie Nico Quattromoni kept the Hillers at bay, making save after save. The Hillers would prove to be too much to handle for Holliston, however. In the second period with 135 left, the Hillers broke through. There's Gilbert with a shot out in front, there's a goal! Picked that deflected off of Hamlet and went in. That's what they needed. Initial shot by Gilbert, the Hamlet, I believe, was able to poke it in. I think you're right, I think Hamlet did get a piece. Tommy Hamlet's goal ended up being the game winner for the Hillers as they took the one to nothing victory and improved to eight wins, two losses, and two ties on the season. On Wednesday, January 23rd, the Hillers hockey team hosted Norton. 30 seconds into the first period, Tommy Hamlet continued where he left off against Holliston. 18 points overall, eight wins, two losses, two ties. There's Sean Walsh out in front, Hamlet goal! Just like that, the Hillers up 1-0. 30 seconds into action. Norton responded with 11.51 left in the period and no goals for either side throughout the remainder. It wasn't 1-1 for long into the second period, however, because Tommy Hamblett came through again. Hamblett leaves it for Gilbert. Flip it up to the near side corner. Simos out in front and there's a goal! Tommy Hamblett with his second goal of the night. It remained 2-1 heading into the third and the Hillers would open it up in the final frame. Break, it's one on one, Walsh up against McCarthy. Around McCarthy he goes, a shot! And it is a goal for the Hillers. John Walsh was able to put it in through the five hole and make it three to one Hopkinton. Along the far side, pass over, there's a flip and a goal, Steve Simos with the backhander flips it in past the reach of director and it's four to one Hillers. That goal comes with 7.17 left as the Hillers start to pour it on. Still there. Dan Kirk and Kyle Rogers working up the far side. Here comes Rogers closing in, and there's a goal! Kyle Rogers with a beauty of a wrister puts it in 5-1 Hillers. Hopkinton takes down Norton 5-1 with the win. The Hillers improved to nine wins, two losses, and two ties, which is 20 points on the season and 20 points means Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey is officially in the playoffs. Throughout the remaining several games this season, the Hillers will be fighting for home ice advantage in the postseason. On Tuesday, January 22nd, the Hillers boys basketball team took on Medway. Hopkinton won four of their last five coming into the game and continued their momentum. In the first half, the Hillers took advantage of Medway's struggles from the field. Tommy Ambersoni was the star of the first half, racking up 13 points for the Hillers. He scored 13 out of the 29 total points for Hopkinton. The Hillers outscored Medway 11-8 in the first quarter and 18-12 in the second to head into the halftime locker room with the 29-20 lead. The third quarter was a defensive struggle for both sides. Medway outscored Hopkinton 9-8. Hillers led 37-29 heading into the fourth. In the fourth quarter, the Hillers took advantage of Medway's foul troubles. The Hillers struck 6-4-9 from the charity stripe. Elin Rosen added a pair of field goals as the Hillers outscored Medway 15-12 and took the game by a final of 52-41. The Hillers boys are now 7-4 and four on the season and three wins away from clinching a playoff spot. Medway fell to 7-3 and three overall. Let's take a look at the other Hiller winter sports teams. Girls basketball is 4-7 and seven overall on the season. Boys and girls indoor track both undefeated at 4-0. and oh. Boys swimming is 8-2. and two. Girls swimming 8-1. and one and girls hockey three wins and six losses on the season. Mm -hmm.